Today, we are going to practice graphing the line of an equation in slope-intercept form. So let's get started. So here we have the equation y equal to 1 half x minus 3. And we need to graph this equation. Now you can always graph an equation by creating a table. And then selecting values for x, finding the corresponding y coordinate, which gives us an ordered pair. And then when we plot those ordered pairs and connect the dots, we get our line. Now this is a time consuming process, but it does work. Now, is there another way? Of course. Our equation is in slope-intercept form. Now it's called slope-intercept because just by looking at the equation, we can find both the slope and the y-intercept of the line without doing any math in our head. And we can use that information to graph the equation. And we use it kind of like a treasure map. We are told where to start and how to move. Unfortunately, the final treasure isn't gold or jewels, but instead the graph of the equation. So where do we start? Well, we can start at any point that is on the line. What point on the line do we know from the equation? Well, we know the y-intercept. And this is where we're going to start. So here, b is equal to negative 3. b is our y-intercept, so the ordered pair is going to be 0, negative 3. The x-coordinate for the y-intercept is always going to be 0. The y-intercept is going to be on the y-axis, so we move neither right nor left. The x-coordinate is 0. So plotting this point, we have 0, negative 3. And that's where we're going to start. So how do we move? Well, the slope tells us how to move. So our slope m, in this case, is equal to 1 half. Well, that means we're going to rise 1 and run 2. So we're going to go up 1 and to the right 2. And that will give us a second point on this line. From the second point, we're going to go up 1 and to the right 2, giving us a third point. Now we can also write a slope of 1 half as negative 1 over negative 2. We have a positive slope, so both the numerator and the denominator can be positive, or both the numerator and the denominator will be negative. A positive divided by a positive gives us a positive number. A negative divided by a negative also gives us a positive number. So here we have a rise of negative 1, and that means we're going to go down one space. And a run of negative 2. So we're going to go to the left two spaces. So let's start at our first point, and we're going to go down 1 and to the left 2. We have a fourth point on the graph, and we'll do one more. Down 1 to the left 2. That's our fifth point. And then from here, we can connect our dots, giving us the graph of this linear equation. So let's practice a few more. Here we have the equation y equal to 4 thirds x minus 4. This is in slope-intercept form. So what are we looking for when we are talking about slope-intercept form? Well, our equation has the variable y 
with a coefficient of 1. So we have 1y on one side of the equation. And on the other side of the equation, we have the variable x with a coefficient plus or minus a constant. So at most, we're going to have three terms. We're going to have that y term, an x term, and a constant term. We'll look at some different cases later on where you might not see all three terms. But right now, we'll look at this equation. And we'll start at this point we can graph. So b is the y-intercept. In this case, b is equal to negative 4. So that ordered pair is 0, negative 4. So we'll place that on our graph. And that's where we'll start. Now our slope is equal to 4 thirds. We have a positive 4 thirds for the slope. So this means we're going to go up 4. So that's our rise. And our run, we're going to go to the right 3. So from our starting point, we're going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 3, 1, 2, 3. From this new point, let's repeat the process. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 up, and 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3. So we can write the slope as 4 over 3. We can also write it as negative 4 over negative 3. So this means we're going to go down 4 and to the left 3. So down 4 to the left 3. Down 4. Well, that's going to be off our graph, so I'll go ahead and stop there. And then we connect our points. And we do have a positive number for our slope. So the line should go up as we move across the graph from left to right. Next, we have the equation y equal to negative x plus 2. This equation is in slope-intercept form. We have the variable y by itself with a coefficient of 1, so 1y, one equal to, next we have the variable x with a coefficient. In this case, our coefficient m is negative 1 plus our constant. So we're going to start with that point. And that point we know is the y-intercept, b. b is equal to 2. So our y-intercept is 0, 2. And we can plot that point on the graph. Now how do we move? How we move is based on slope. We have a slope of negative 1. This is our rate of change. How y changes compared to x. Now let's write this as a fraction. So we can rewrite this as negative 1 over 1. So that means we're going to go down 1 unit and to the right 1 unit. So we start at that point and we're going to go down 1 to the right 1. And then from there, down 1 to the right 1. Now let's find a few points in the opposite direction. So we can also write negative 1 with a positive number in the numerator and a negative number in the denominator. So this means we're going to go up 1 and then to the left 1. Starting at that first point, we're going to go up 1 to the left 1. Then again, up 1 to the left 1. And then connecting the dots, we have our line. We can do a quick check. We have a negative slope. 
So with a negative slope, that means the line is going to go down as we move from left to right across the graph, which is what we have here. Now one more. Here we have y equal to negative 2. Is this in slope-intercept form? Again, we have y equal to mx plus b. Well, we do have the y with a coefficient of 1 on one side. We also have this constant. We're subtracting 2. But how about our x term? Well, we do have an x term. But in this case, our coefficient is 0. So we multiply anything by 0, that's going to disappear. We have 0 times x, so this term is going to go away, leaving us with negative 2, which is what we start with. So let's graph it using this equation. We have our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is negative 2, so we have the point 0, negative 2. Our slope is equal to 0. So if we have a fraction that has a value of 0, the 0 is going to be in the numerator. And we can put any number we want in the denominator, because 0 divided by 2, or 0 divided by anything, is going to give us 0. If we have a rise of 0, it doesn't really matter what our run's going to be. It can be 3, it can be negative 2. The run value is not important, as long as it's not 0. We don't want 0 over 0. So I'll just leave this as the run, 0 over the run. So we go up 0, and then we run some distance. We go up 0, and then we run some distance. We go down 0, and then we run some distance. Let's do it one more time. We go down 0, and we run some distance. We have these points. And this creates our line. This is a horizontal line. When we have a slope of 0, this x term is going to go away, and we end up with y equal to some number. And that number is the y-intercept. And the graph is a horizontal line. A great way to learn is to practice on your own. We will discuss in a bit, but go ahead and pause your screen and do these four problems. So in this first problem, our y-intercept is negative 2. So we have a point at 0, negative 2. Our slope is negative 1 half. So we can view this as a rise of negative 1, so down 1 and a run of 2, so it's going to be to the right 2. So down 1 to the right 2, down 1 to the right 2. And then flipping the sign of our numerator and our denominators. So now we're going to go up 1, and then to the left 2, giving us this line. With a quick check, we do have a negative slope, negative 1 half, and our line is going down from left to right. With the equation y equals to x plus 1, our b value, our y-intercept, is 1. We also have a slope of 1. So we can rewrite the slope as 1 over 1, which means we'd go up 1 to the right 1. Or we can rewrite it as negative 1 over negative 1, meaning we'd go down 1 and to the left 1. Now, both of these fractions simplify down to 1. And with a positive slope, it goes up from left to right. For this third equation, we have y equal to negative 3x. Again, this is in y-intercept form. So we have y equal to negative 3x plus 
zero. So that B value is zero. This means that our Y intercept is at the origin, that point zero, zero. Slope of negative three, we can write that as negative three over one. So we'd go down three to the right one, or we can write it as three over negative one. So we'd go up three to the left one. Both of these fractions are equivalent to negative three. And with a negative slope, our line is gonna go down from left to right. And then finally, we have y equal to 3 fifths x plus four. We have a y intercept of four, so zero, four. Slope of 3 fifths. So we're gonna go up three and to the right five or we can move down three and to the left five. And with a positive slope, our line goes up from left to right. Continue practicing graphing equations in slope-intercept form, and I'll see you in the next video.